Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. On the last episode, we showed Janine that she is not ready to be ninja material. In this episode, you're going to show Sabrina that, psychic as she may be, she cannot predict all of our movements. She apparently knew we were coming, though. A vision of my arrival. I am after your badge, indeed. Apparently you don't enjoy battling. Well, that's not true, is it? Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Well, it's not your psychic powers, it's really the power of your psychic Pokemon, but... Here she is! One of my favorite gym leaders, I, in my opinion, the third hottest gym leader. Although I don't like her design in this particular game, too modern. Anyway, she's leading off with level 53 Espeon. Battle of the Evolutions right here, let's hope I can win it. Unfortunately, Espeon has sky high special attacks, so I don't think I can. Okay. It might take more than one Shadow Ball. I think I might be getting a little lag, actually. Yep, it's gonna take more than one Master- uh, not Master Ball, Shadow Ball. Alright, so my next Pokémon is going to be a tank to heal up Espeon- um, <laughs> Vaporeon, Jesus. Me no speak much good. Do, 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 do. Just checking my email real fast. It's a bonus of having your timer on a phone, you can also tell when you get emails, that way if anyone subscribes to me, while I'm recording, I can just say thank you for subscribing right away, as opposed to, you know... Incidentally, I'm at... Oh wow, Alakazam already. Okay, time to definitely tank. I'm at 48 subscribers, I'm almost at 50, so I gotta figure out something special to do for 50 subscribers. I haven't really thought about it. I expected to have another couple of weeks before getting close to 50, because I was at 42. So yeah, my channel's growing a little bit quicker than I thought it would since I joined that network. Some of the people at that network really like my stuff, so that's awesome. Incidentally, if you're from Freedom and you're watching this, thank you very much for uh, watching the video again. Glad I joined that network. Great community, you guys. You're all very helpful. Ah, energy ball, huh? Reflect an energy ball. That's a good combination. Still, you're using a special attack against a steel type that ha specializes in special defense and is EV trained in special defense. No loose screws with that plan. Might as well try to put him to sleep. I mean, hell. I mean, confusion will barely do anything to Alakazam, considering it's got very low attack. Keep cracking my knuckles. My knuckles are stiff. There we are. All right. So asleep and Ugh, sorry, and confused. Okay. Now that that's happened, time to be a little bit of a coward and switch because I know Talos won't do any damage. Alright, still asleep, that works. I'm not sure if sleep helps the uh, res uh, reset the um, the confusion counter. Like, if you're asleep for five turns, does that affect the way confusion works or no? I'm not sure. I'll also reflect war off, so that means this next thrash should do a lot of damage. I'm really hoping this next thrash does more than enough damage, and yes, a critical hit, thank you! Recording curse working in reverse, I love it! Alright, I don't mind splitting the experience for that one. Quite honestly, her Alkazam is by far the biggest annoyance because it's incredibly fast and it's got a great moveset. Reflect Psychic, Energy Ball, and I think Focus Blast. And finally her Mr. Mime, probably her most defensive. Wait, if she already knows what's going to happen after this... If she already knows what's going to happen after this, why is she bothering to fight? If she knows I'm going to win, which I am, then why? Ooh, hoo hoo. Oh, apparently she saw that she was going to beat us. Hey, anyway, Aqua Ring, because why not? I find Aqua Wing to be very effective on Vaporeon simply because of the fact that Vaporeon's got ridiculous health, so... Might as well try to lower special defense. Oh great, I just learned Aqua Ring. Oh, for once, Mimic is a decent move. Super effective. And should have known, I'm gonna use Aqua Ring right away to negate the damage I do. Because of that god-awful light screen. Alright, lower special defense, that's what I want. How much HP will that restore? Not a lot, okay, it doesn't look like Aqua Ring's gonna do him any good. Mr. Barnum's not a bad psychic type, it's got decent special attack with a decent moveset, very good defenses, learns a lot of good moves too. 
You can turn Mr. Mom into a wall, you can turn it into a substituter, or... Pretty much do whatever the hell you want with Mr. Mime. Now, if she's gonna heal him again, I automatically win. Yep. So, yeah, it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting right now. And let's see how much damage this does with lowered special defense and no light screen. Aha! Doesn't matter how much HP you restore, I'm going to beat you a ass. Just please don't use light screen again. Alright, trying to out damage me, not gonna happen. Your last Pokemon, your figure, eh, what the hell, we'll do as much damage as I can. And that takes care of Sabrina! Give me the Mind Badge, Psychic Badge. I forgot what this badge is called, actually. Because it's the Mind Badge in Emerald. 1,320 bucks. Power far exceeds what I foresaw, it's not fully possible to predict what the future holds. The Marsh Badge, I'm not sure why it's called the Marsh Badge, honestly. Maybe they planned on this being an Earth-type gym with some water types. Deserve this, TM, TM48. What is this, anyway? Psyshock? Skill Swap, okay. Wait a minute, I got Skill Swap already. That's weird. Anyway, uh, the next gym. Uh, we'll probably use him just to get him some levels, so... I will see you guys at, uh, Pallet Town. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we are going to surf down this way, and if I think my levels are high enough, there's something I need to do back in Johto. My levels may not be high enough, I might grind my levels up to 55 off screen. Just to get everyone up there, which is something I think I will do, but for now... You may remember this area, we have not fought any of these trainers yet. It's time to let you know what these guys have. 37 seal, 42 dugong, nothing special. This guy's a fisherman. Border fishing, let's battle, by all means. Level 44 shelter, why that's not a clayster? I have no idea, these trainers are supposed to be slightly challenging. You can tell their levels aren't bad, it's just a matter of challenge. Anyway, this guy's probably a bird trainer. Surrounding yourself with bird Pokemon gives you a feeling that someday you may be able to fly too. That'll never happen. 36 Fero, 37 Farfetch, 37 Pidgeotto, why that's not a Pidgeot, I don't know. I've caught a trainer instead of a Pokemon. Well, more like I've caught you. Four Corsolas, level 32, 34, 36, and 38. Honestly, not a challenge. Alright, anyone over here? Nope, no one over here. There's a couple patches of land. This one, completely barren. So there's three more trainers at least on this route. And while I'm fighting this next trainer, it looks like I got a couple of emails. So uh, let me go ahead and fight this lovely, beautiful lady. And I'll get back to you and let you know if these emails are subscribers, I'll thank them. I love bikinis. If I had an electric bikini, I could wear it even in winter. No. Level 44, Meryl, Azumarill. I thought she had more than that, honestly, because I actually kept the speed up going when I realized, oh wait, I won. I had to quickly stop the speed up, so if that transition was a little bit faster than before, I apologize. Yeah, all these water types, Braxis has taken a bit of a beating, but it should be easy enough. I wonder, can you fight fishermen from the sea itself? Damn it! Oh well. A nibble? Oh, a battle! Level 42, Seedra. It would have been more challenging if it was a Kingdra, but still, it only took two, uh, two thrashes. Two, two, two. So my stuttering's getting worse. Oh, look at this guy doing some flipperoonies. He doesn't even notice me, he's too busy doing freaking acrobatics in the water and shit. Gotta keep going, no you don't. Level 42 Artillery and level 42 Quagsire both got thrashed, and there's another fisherman here. These guys just do not know when to stop cropping up. Unfortunately, Braxis got confused and then got signal beamed by that Artillery, so... Luckily that Quagsire didn't have a chance to get off an earthquake. Wait, you! Question is, did I become a fisherman because I am patient, or do I get more patient because I'm a fisherman? Uh, definitely you became one because you're patient. 44 Lantern got uh, Earthquake, and a level 40 Mantine got thrashed. Man, I love Tauros. Tauros is really working for me here right now. Oh, okay. Fine, don't notice me. That's cool. I didn't want to fight you anyway. Teach The teacher from the swimming class where I learned to swim had a face just like a Poliwhirl. Um... Well, he, his teacher probably wasn't a Poliwhirl because he had a Poliwhirl, level 38, as well as a Golduck, level 38. 
Professor Polyworld, how can anyone's face look like a Polyworld? I'm sorry, but that person was just completely born wrong. I mean, nothing against people who are disfigured, but a Polyworld for a face? Come on, that's just wrong. So we're wonderful with our bird Pokemon. Okay. Two level 35 Doe Duos, a level 35 Doe Trio, and a level 36 Doe Trio. So many Dodes. They all had to die. Alright, we are back at Cinnabar Island and we are going to heal up. And instead of taking care of the trainers to the right, I'm going to grind up to level 55 off screen and I'll meet you at a certain city in Johto. You may already know what I want to do, but you may not. I'll let you know when we get back. Hello guys, and we're back, and we are in Blackthorn City, and we have to do something in Dragon's Den. I'm going to ignore that guy down there, that Santos of Saturday, who will give you soft sand. Anyway, uh, I underestimated how many how many levels Raiju needed to get the next move, so I had to get him up to 59, but he got rock gem, power gem, rather. 70 power, pretty good move. 55, no extra moves. At 55, he learned Mega Horn. No extra moves, no extra moves. At 55, he learned Giga Impact. So, without further ado, let's do this thing. I'm gonna need to use a Repel, though, because I don't want to get into any battles while I'm surfing, and I have to surf a couple times to get to where I need to be. So, let's go ahead and use this one Repel. I'll be honest, I've recorded this once already, and it didn't go so well. That's because I did not use a relatively good strategy. Anyway, you may have guessed it, but there is going to be a battle coming up here. If you're new to the series, I won't let you uh, know, but if you're not new, then you know what's coming up. And you know I'm vastly underleveled for this. I am, like, vastly underleveled for this. Hey, I recognize that redhead. I am not here to make fun of your training good, sir. What do you take me for? Master won't tell me anything. He's making a big deal of it, so I decided to train my Pokemon here instead. Oh, hello guys! What are you both doing here? Hi, Butters and you! We met at Team Rocket Hideout! Where have you been all this time? Prepare to lose to me this time! I challenge you! Calm down, I was in a bit of hurry last time. Sorry for that. But I always welcome challengers. What about a double battle? You can't beat me one-on-one, -on -one, can't you? Double battle is really not bad. Butters, you'll be on my side. I'd like that. Well then, you over there, will you team up with me? You must be kidding. That embarrassing one in the weird costume for me? You've beaten this gym leader before. No way I can battle with her. <laughs> She's all fronted. Alright, if you can use good strategy, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, time to fight a gym leader in Elite Four. Lance is gonna send out Gyarados, and she's gonna send out Dragonair, and... The key to this battle is to focus on one at a time, because if you're down to one at a time, it's gonna be damn near impossible to win. Gyarados is... Well, you just hope that he doesn't go after you, which he is. And this should do about half damage, if I remember rightly. Yep. For Alligator will do its best to take out Claire's Pokémon. Even though he really should be focusing on Lance, because Lance is a lot tougher. But luckily... Um, Dragonair flinched with that, because Dragonair always leads off with Thunder Wave. We gotta get this Gyarados down as quickly as possible. Luckily, Claude 4 weakness and Ampharos' really high special attack helps. Sorry, I just had to readjust myself. Alright, next up, Gyarados is going to be replaced by Charizard, level 68. Jesus. And there's Dragon Claw, Flamethrower, and I don't know what else. Unfortunately... Flamethrower will likely take out Raiju in one shot, unless I get really lucky with an X Special Defend. Which is what I'm gonna try. If Raiju can uh, survive an X uh, Flamethrower with an X Special Defend, and then I can heal him. This is just kinda hoping for the best, though. Ampharos does have the highest Special Defense on my team, so. Aha! Whew! You really should be taking care of Gyarados. <sighs> Hang on. Claire is sending out her Dragonite, which knows Thunder. So that means this guy is basically boned. Go ahead and speed up through the heal. There we are. Alright, that Dragonite's using Protect, not Thunder. Okay, that works. Let me guess, you're gonna try to Ice Fang it. 
I need to keep the rest of my party in as good condition as possible for this fight. Oh, come on! Critical hit! And it killed me. Fantastic. I'm already getting shit on. Yeah, that's my exact attitude, by the way. I'm gonna max revive. The reason I lost this last ba the battle last time is because of timely critical hits for Lance. Lance doesn't need critical hits, he's got levels. Ugh. Alright, Raju is recovered. Dragonite's using Protect again, I'm fully okay with that. Please focus on Charizard. Because he's attacking me and not you. Focus on Charizard, focus on Charizard, focus on Charizard. Focus on Charizard! Okay, Braxis lived. Okay, you missed. Fantastic. That that that's great. That's wonderful fun. I'm not gonna get to go first, cause yep, outspeeds me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that you outspeed me. You outsped the fastest one on my team. Which does not bode well. Please, why are you going after Dragonite? Or you can okay oh, him, that works. Um, I'll take that. Okay. So, what would be best to fight a Kingdra? Honestly, nothing is best to fight her goddamn Kingdra. Well, only 56, but... That doesn't make her Kingdra any less annoying, because Kingdra's got really good special defense. And please don't critical hit me again! Exactly half damage. Please focus on Kingdra. Kingdra is the one we have to focus on right now. Oh, come on. I didn't even know Kingdra could learn Yawn. <sighs> How much damage will that do? Sizable amount. Oh, there goes Ampharos. Damn it. Well, at least he's still got three of his Pokemon. And that puts out, uh, that puts out Lance's Dragonite, so... I'm really hoping his Dragonite actually uses Draco Meteor. But he's asleep now, so he's pretty much useless. Well, that puts Flamethrower out of play, actually, so... Talos can hopefully tank some hits here. I'm gonna confuse Ray Kingdra, because Kingdra's the bigger threat in my opinion. Because Draco Meteor's only got accuracy of 90, and it uh, causes um, special attack to harshly drop after being used, which is wonderful, considering his special attack isn't that good. So I'm just gonna confuse Ray both of them, and then try to hypnosis both of them, and then hope for the best. Gyro Ball won't help me here. No, I'm gonna confuse Ray Ball first. Why is Draco Meteor suddenly missing all the time? Alright, this could go really well, actually. Now that the Flamethrower is out of the picture, I can use my tank while he does damage. Confusing Kingdra also really helps. You know I'm just gonna full heal out of that, so it's pretty much worthless to make him drowsy. Confusing that Dragonite will help, too. That way he won't use Fire Punch. I completely forgot that Dragonite had Fire Punch, actually. Guess he was really banking on uh, Draco Meteor to take out uh, for Alligator. Oh, there comes here comes Draco Meteor. How much damage will this do? Level 75, so this is going to do a ton. And there goes him, but his special attack harshly fell, which means this next Draco Meteor will be hardly powerful. Kingdra's confused, and hurt itself in confusion, that's fantastic. Hypnosis, Kingdra's asleep now. There we are, and now I'm asleep, and Crobat is out. I'm guessing he's hoping for a very, very lucky outspeed. Wake up. Alright, you're woken up. Aha, that's a smart move, use Toxic. You're gonna outspeed him, use Toxic, and he's confused. Toxifusion is one of the strategies I want to use with Talos. All 
Alright, Kingdra's still asleep, that's awesome. But now I can't put, um, Dragonite to sleep. Alright, so basically all that's left is to try to do work here. Wow, you still have him with Bite? You don't have Cross Poison for him? Yeah, with a heart skill, Crobat learns heart po uh, Cross Poison. That's why I love using Crobat at times. In a double battle, they won't use their items, thank god. You need to use strategy for this battle, because just trying to overpower Pokemon like you usually do in double battles will not work here. Come on, take enough damage from the Poison to faint now. God damn it. And there goes Dragonite. Woohoo! Uh, let me tell you right now, that Dragonite is a pain in the ass. And Kingdra's still asleep. Extra sensory finish! <laughs> Sorry about the long episode, guys. I did not anticipate this battle to last this long. Oh, Jesus. Lance and Claire have been defeated. Did you see that, Claire? Oh, I see. Give me all that money! I need to replenish healing items after this. You two make quite a team. Going slow is certainly one way to aim for that, but that's all there is to Pokemon Battle. Although I don't feel it's necessary to remind you guys. See you, brothers, another time. What do you have to say for yourself, Claire? I must excuse myself. Buttles. Buttles! <laughs> it was a fun battle. That goes for you too, wise guy. <laughs> Butters, it wasn't supposed to go this way. Anyway, I'm not giving up beating. It will train my Pokemon and my own heart too. We'll come back as the toughest challenge for you. What do you want, Gavin? Me, Gavin. Flareon. Ah, uh, skip. There we are. Oh, Jesus. Did you get that? That was... Not a fun time for me. But, on the plus side, this leaves me very much open to taking out Blaine. However, what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to take out Blaine, and then after I take out Blaine... Uh, what am I doing? I did not want to give him a full heal, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, after I take out Blaine, then I'll cut to a uh, post-commentated... Not post-commentated, not even a commentated... Just a mashup of me getting all of the, um... Sorry? Just, it's just gonna be a mashup of me getting all of the gym leader's uh, phone numbers that I don't already have, and calling them for rematches. Just cut together, so you guys know where to find them, at what times to find them, and what times to call them, so... That way, there's no doubt in your minds. I'm gonna be, uh, disconnecting from the internet and changing my system time to do it, so... I'll see you guys next time.